Hello everyone and welcome to part nine Mega Man Legends commentary. Well, hey Clapton fan. Yo, yo. Hey y'all, this is Hedgey here. How are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just fine. You see, recently Hedgey's um uh changed his uh vocal cords recently got plastic surgery, so he now I got plastic surgery. Now my vocal cords are all nice and spiffy. Yeah. Yeah. They're all nice thick and span. <laughs> I got him pink color too. Anyway, oh, we are now um in the first ruins, and there is a refractor here we need to obtain. Oh, look, you gotta go on and get that refractor shard right there. Yeah. As um, do it real quick, because otherwise, it's giant ball. As head she says here, there's a shield. On yeah. course, there's a there's a shield here, obviously. So you need to go out and go on and give it a lick. It. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. So yeah, we gotta go find three starter keys to open the shield to... You need three starter keys? Oh no! Wait, who is... Saw that coming too. That, that's from Family Guy. Yeah, that's why I thought. No! That's why I thought. Okay, I'm done. That voice is getting hard to do. Good! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this is a, a Hive Reaver bot. Yep, and it's really <laughs> tricky. What the fuck? Those things look weird. They look like, look like. Hey, look! There's a hole in the wall. Did you? There's a. There's a hole. Look! There's a hole. But I gotta destroy the enemies first, or I'm gonna get hit. Cause believe it. Oh, no, you're in, you're invulnerable when there's text boxes. No, there's not. No, you're not. Oh, really? You can get. Yeah, you actually can get. Oh, hit. so this is actually different from every single RPG. Yeah, you can actually get hit. That's the scary part when getting stuff. And look, oh look, it's this guy. He's pretty easy, but he comes out of fucking nowhere, so you can get, you know, hit. So, this he is just a grasshopper. just into a hug. Just a grasshopper fever bot. Well, actually, I, I guess you could say grasshopper because it jumps and everything and it's fast, but it doesn't quite it's look green. like it. Yeah, of course. So, I guess it's the... It has eyes, it has legs, it's a grasshopper. You mean like, like a, a thing in the face of the earth? That has God. eyes and legs and... <laughs> hey, no. They look like a cross between like a drill, a ceiling fan, and a centipede. <laughs> <laughs> ceiling fan? I never saw that until now, but that is so funny. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny, but I did. <laughs> Either way, um, good news, uh, we got a starter key. There's probably a few more lying around somewhere. Obviously. Yeah, there's probably a few more lying around somewhere. Well, obviously, because there's three holes. <laughs> God! Well, someone could have been a dick and, like, literally what? hid, like, literally took them with them and left, so. Hey, are you ever going to use your powdered buster? Uh, yeah, next part. Oh, look at this. You see, I think this will work again, but watch. No, it's too smart for that. Yeah, cover them in powder. That'll that'll work. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, of, of robots, I recently just got Armored Core Five, and it is awesome. Yeah, I saw you playing it earlier. Future Let's Play. Ah, uh, if I ever get the game, yeah, or he gets That's a capture card. It's fairly new. Like I, I had to get it off Amazon for like forty bucks. So. Why Amazon? Can, if it's new, can't you find it anywhere? Well, because I wanted to buy it on Amazon, because I can get it for cheap. That's true. If I went to get it for on retail, I'd probably get it, you know, get it for 60, not 40. Oh look, Goober's going carding. Freaking Card dude, oh, this is no he rubs my nose in it. I wanted the LVP carding data, but no. I forgot to sign up. <laughs> I have Mod Nation Racers. <laughs> Actually, well, that's basically the same thing. Tell you the truth, I'm very disappointed in the way carding's looking. I'm sorry. I was disappointed for the first time I saw it. It's just a useless spin-off to get more money. Yeah, you, you know... The th thing that I thought was so funny, but wow, you waste a mine to bring down the bridge. I was tired of waiting for the damn thing to fall down with a normal weapon. You could just shoot it! <laughs> yeah, That's but I wanted... a normal weapon. I just wanted to be awesome, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like... Like, that's what I find funny about it. Like, I saw Little Big Planet Karting, and I was like, uh, okay, they're making a kart racing game. Then I saw it's being made by United Front Games. I was like, wow. Yeah. 
So the guys who made Mod Nation Racers, as if that wasn't enough like Little Big Planet already. Uh, yeah. In fact, I would rather have Mod Nation Racers because it's different. I've seen enough Little Big Planets of I've seen enough of Little Big Planet style. I have the game. Yeah, I'm, you've seen you've seen enough to last you a lifetime. Yeah. Well, not a lifetime for me. I want LBP3 still, and I missed a hole. Wonderful. Obviously, LBP3. You missed the hole. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's a trap. Nope. Okay. Grenade kit. Gee, do you make grenades with that or yeah, hand baskets? A on a dig mega man. Hand baskets. I wasn't used to being a <laughs> yeah, you know, to collect like eggs. What? <laughs> Remember? What the fuck is Roll talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's what I would like to know. Like it kind of randomly pops up out of nowhere. She starts talking to you about. Your first so time. I'm like, I'm too focused on killing shit to listen to you. I'll get back to you in a second. So this is kind of like the first puzzle of the game. Uh, it's barely a puzzle. I avoided the chest for a reason. Is it another tarp? <laughs> well, I could have did it. I could have done it. That's a tarp! I decided, you know, I'll do something a little different this time. So I skipped it for now. A you spring found springs. Which is so useful. Guess what it does? Spring you. Essentially, it, it makes your jump. You put it downstairs. Yes, it's a slinky. Oh, the lone pen slinky. <laughs> Do you oh, mix it oh. with the bone and make a oh, hey. instrument? You just went off line, head cheese. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Why are you still here? <laughs> Fine, cheese. I guess I'll be quiet for once. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. So we come to this puzzle here. This is a real puzzle then. It's not, it's barely a puzzle. It, it, literally, you just have to go through these buttons fast. That's the only thing. At first I thought it was some sort of path. Gotta go fast! But no, you literally just have to run through these really fast. And that's it. And after the spring the set... Well, sound effects are annoying as fuck. Yeah, they're really irritating. <laughs> And then there's three of them going, all at different tones. What the Did hell? Find another starter? Yep. Oh. That's two. Only one more to go. That's two. Yay. And guess what? I had four biscuits, and then I ate one. Then I only had three. What? <laughs> uh, so uh, that sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah, it's it's from SpongeBob. Oh yeah. Dumb little kid. <laughs> I had four oh, biscuits, yeah. then I ate one. Then I only had three! Oh, yeah, I'm... <laughs> yes, roll apparently passed basic arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was saying, because I, I kept on missing that, um, the spring set makes you jump really high, which is what you need. He get ex Yeah. Yeah. You know what I've noticed? This game is actually very similar to Metroid. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's a good thing they, to bring up because I agree. I didn't even see that until, you know, I started playing. I was like, wait, yeah, this is dungeon crawling. This is a lot of like a big maze sort of thing. Not as big as Metroid, but <laughs> yeah. So the this refractor shards. Metroid is a NES game. It's bigger than a PS1 game, sure. <laughs> the refractor shards are kind of like gold bars. They're worth money, right? Uh, yeah, the shards are, and I fucking missed. <laughs> So, um, no, the shards are worth money. The big refractors are actually, um, more, more or less used to actually progress through the game. Like in Banjo-Kazooie or something, with the puzzle pieces? I guess so. I didn't really play that too much. Mm. The only time I ever had with Banjo-Kazooie was, like, at the McDonald's when they had, like, a, like, a booth for it. <laughs> That's, like, the worst possible way to play it. I know, because the controls Cause it's were usually... such a big... No, because it's such a big game. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they had it, but they did. And and hundreds of hundreds of people a day play it. You know, the buttons yeah. will get worn out. And yeah, the, the analog stick. You know, just like every fucking N64. Yeah, I can't remember. There was a McDonald's was limp. nearby my place where they had a um a NES there. They had, or not a NES, an N64, and they had like Wave Race on it or something. Some kind of Wave Runner racing game. Yeah, back when... It would have been fun if it worked, but it didn't, because... Because it's McDonald's. Yeah. And they also had no. Sonic Adventure 2, and the controller didn't fucking work, so I couldn't play it. Yeah, there was another one that had a, uh, like, a GameCube and some stuff. 
They had Luigi's Mansion, which something they did to it made it actually run on a timer. Wow. Yeah, because Luigi's Mansion is a perfect game to play for the first five minutes. Whoa. You know, where you get enough time to do the tutorial and then go through two doors in the actual mansion and then it's over. <laughs> yeah. Now that, getting that last, um... Yeah, last, what is it, starter? Yeah. That was more of a puzzle thing because it doesn't explicitly tell you, hey, it's inside this rusted chest. Yeah. I actually, really, when I first found it, I was like, damn, that, you know, this is why I love this game. I thought, I thought that was pretty clever when I first played. Yeah, sure. So, we now have all three, and now... Now we can finally do this. Yes. Now, just watch out for the iron ball this time. Remember what happened last time. I love his cutscene. Because he doesn't have his helmet on. Oh. Hey! Yeah, oh, yeah. He's now replaced his buttocks. <laughs> I just love that. It's just his face. It's just the long pause. Item <laughs> <Then> get... <laughs> And then... <laughs> That's <laughs> actually that. really good animation on his face there. Yep. Like, it actually looked really smooth. Like, you would expect it to be, like, you know, two frames. One for him with his eyes closed, and then another one with his eye facing the other direction. Yeah, but no, no. they actually did a good job with the text. They actually tried. So, yeah, we finally got what we did, and, you know... You got what you did. We got what we were supposed to get, son. <laughs> um, got what we did. Anyways, uh, and we now can go back. Um, I would leave. However, I do go back into ruins because I acquire the spring shoes. And well, don't spoil it. Ugh. Oh, it'll happen in the next two minutes, anyways. So what? That's two minutes that they'll never get back because you spoiled it. But they'll miss our precious commentary. Oh no! You know, we could just talk about a different topic. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, with the grenade kit we were used to make, the grenade arm, I don't like this weapon. I, I don't. Hey, I've got a topic. How about that airline food, huh? Oh yeah, um, it, it, it's not that good. But don't What's so great about it? What's about with that? What? Wait, I did it wrong. Wait, yeah. let me start over. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> oh, God. Grenade arm is an arm-mounted weapon. Gee, you think? <laughs> hey, you're back. Hey! So, let's upgrade. Oh, that been because I was updating the game, and it took, like, long as hell. But let's upgrade our b buster. Who knows? Which we got to pay for, by the way. Jeez, Roll, can't you, like, spare, like, your best buddy in the world, like, a discount at least? Yeah, jeez. <laughs> what does she do with the money anyway? Buy more stuff? I, I guess she buys the equipment. Buys nail polish. No, I'm guessing she buys the equipment to upgrade the stuff. And she's gonna paint the nail polish on her glove? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, her, on her glove that constantly stays in the fist. So now I finally equipped the buster. And honestly, it looks kind of awkward. You'll see why. After I save. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> save data. I wonder if you ever actually do have to save him. No. At least not here. I already told you, the power of his dance protects him from everything. Look, you see, it doesn't even look like it's part of him. It just kind of sticks out. They could have at least colored it. Yeah. Whatever. And now check this shit out. Liam! So now more areas are available to you. How Dude, he got mad hops now. Yup, and that is exactly what I was waiting for. I love the jump springs. Alright, see you for the next part.